farther out in space we look, the farther back in time we see. Light that has been traveling from distant objects for billions of years reveals how those objects looked when the light first began its journey. Now, scientists, including team leader Masami Uchi from the Carnegie Institution, have discovered a mysterious giant object that existed at a time when the universe was only about 800 million years old. This object, known as a Lyman Alpha Blob, is both mysterious and surprising. Mysterious because it is so far away that a variety of instruments has not yet been able to determine what it is. Surprising because it is larger than any other object so far away. Because this object was discovered as part of data collected at the Subaru Telescope, which is operated by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, it has been named Hamiko, after a legendary Japanese princess. Hamiko exists right on the edge of what astronomers can currently see, the so-called reionization era of cosmic history. This anomaly almost caused Hamiko to go unexamined, as Masami Uchi explains. First um, I found Himiko in a you know, large and bright source, you know, in, in our distant galaxy candidates. And, uh, you know, because a uh, distant galaxy is supposed to be a faint point source from Himiko, so uh, from Himiko's shape and brightness, I thought Himiko was a, an ordinary disk galaxy in the foreground, uh, which contaminated our distant galaxy sample. Telescope time is rare and expensive, so if Amico really was just a nearby ordinary galaxy instead of a distant object, there was no reason to examine it further. But something prompted a second thought. I told myself, wait a minute, how am I sure this source is a foreground interloper? Then I started carefully looking at Himiko's colors from the imaging data. The colors clearly presented two key signatures of a typical distant galaxy, a strong single emission line and a large spectral break. Eventually, data from five different telescopes, both ground-based and orbital, revealed just how extraordinary Hamiko was. Carnegie astronomer Alan Dressler explains that if Hamiko was an ancestor of today's galaxies, many more smaller objects should also have been found. But so far, Hamiko is one of a kind, and it's very hard to fit it into the prevailing model of galaxy formation. But of course, that's what makes it interesting. Masami Uchi says that the next phase of research will be an attempt to use the Hubble Space Telescope to see what other objects can be found. The research will be published in the May 10, 2009 issue of the Astrophysical Journal. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.